Okay, so today we are going to install Windows, no, well, Microsoft Office 365 on a Linux distro. The distro I'm currently using is LMDE6, which is a Debian version uh, that were made that was made by Mint Linux. So it got people to make Mint Linux make this this one. I've gotten quite fond of it, but we're going to uh, first go to the crossover website. Um, and then we're going to go and download the tr trial version, which is here. This is not a free version. It allows you 15 days to play around with it, but it gives you something to play around with. So you go ahead and download that. I've already done it, and I have it here. Actually, I've already even installed it, but I'm just going to go through the steps to show you how to install it. You can just right-click on it. Or you can install the command line, whatever you like, prefer. I'm just going to tell it reinstall package. I've already installed it. But you will go through the same process. Now, if you have a subscription of Microsoft Office you can log in and download the office file there's an office file that you can download so I'm going to go ahead and launch it and this is what it looks like okay so I already have it currently installed so let me just go ahead and delete it and then I'm going to reinstall it all right so we're going to click install Microsoft. Oops, no wrong one. We need to go home. No, let's go back. Microsoft Office 365. This version has not always worked on previous versions of uh, crossover, but this version it works perfectly on. So you just go where your Office file is. Uh, no, 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 no. And open. And it's going to go ahead and start installing some stuff. If for some reason it pauses, you look down at the bottom, you'll see something that looks like a wine glass. Click that. And then, uh, since we're just going to use the trial version, I'm going to say try now. And it's going to install some fonts and some other stuff that it needs to uh, install. It also does a, like a service pack 2 of something of Microsoft. Okay, it's flashed again. Oh, there you go. I don't know what happened. It never did that before. So this is the, uh, the service pack two. Go ahead. Yes, we're going to put it in. It's going to ask you for a name. I'll just put NA. It doesn't really check anything. And go ahead and install. And finish. It is now currently installed in Office. It takes a moment.
Uh, we're just going to skip this. We don't want that. Uh, at least I don't. And remember, to get that office, office set up at the exe file, you have to go log into your subscription on the web browser, and it'll give you the option to download it. Okay. So we are here. So let's go fire up Word. And you can see it launches as normal. It's going to ask you to sign in using your Wichicom account. But we're not going to do that right now. Uh, it's going to ask you to accept the license. Blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, no, I don't want to share anything. Uh, done, done, done. Now, right here, Word has, has not been activated. Uh, and we'll start working on the 19th. That means you just log into your account. Boom. No other worries. You see, it works just like Word would work, and all the applications work Word, Excel, uh, at all, and including Outlook. All your favorite Microsoft apps that you want to use in case you do not want to use it. Uh, use the alternative options that Linux has, but the work uh, that Libre and Open Office, uh, all of those are very equivalent to Office. So, if you don't want to pay the seventy-four dollars uh, for the software for a cross a crossover, uh, you can use one of the other Office products that our Linux has. That's absolutely free. It's so completely up to you. But I know people been trying to figure out how to put Office three sixty five on Windows. Uh, Crossover finally fixes it, has that problem fixed, and you can now install cross uh, full open uh, Office 365 on a Linux machine with no modifications on your on your hand. So, since that is done, uh, I think I showed you everything, and that is it. And until next time, folks. Talk to you later.